Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Scoreboard Keepers. We have another topic on the board today. Should Brandon Ayuk have stayed with the San Francisco 49ers? We'll be right back in 30 seconds. Keepers. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? I am your host, the ref, and we have a topic on the board. It should take us no longer than 10 minutes. Let's get this clock rolling, rolling and put some points on the board. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the Brandon and I, you have stayed with the San Francisco 49ers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. After signing a $120 million extension, you got a lot of pressure on you now to perform. I mean, you put these people through the ringer trying to keep you there. You had offers from everywhere. You played the offer game. You went out there and put yourself out there as a bachelor, eligible bachelor, to all the other teams in the league. And everybody was trying to take you out on a date. And you end up staying with your ex. You know, I mean, the ex now is looking at you like, look, you wasn't showing me any kind of loyalty when you were acting like you want to walk out of that front door. So now how am I to, to give you and show you the same love that I've always had for you? See, look, that thing is like a marriage, man. It's like a relationship. It is literally like a relationship. Everybody that you work with, all your your teammates, the people in the front office, the people that serve you food in the cafeteria, the weight trainer, everybody. Everybody was watching you being courted by all these other teams and you were acting like you wanted to go. You even showed up to practice to the facility with a Pittsburgh Steelers hat on. But your music blasted. And I mean, you were saying you wanted out of there. So, you know what I mean? What type of loyalty do you have? You know, and now that you've signed this $120 million extension, these people have you now. Now, you tell me this, people. What job do you know that you can go and cross your boss and not take a loss? (laughs) Tell me. Y'all tell me what job and what where, where you guys work at where you can go and cross your boss and not take a loss of some sort. You know that there has to be some kind of punishment coming down the road somewhere if it's not termination. Now, the, now this, this man, I'm uh, between John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. I don't know which one was uh, was looking more disgusted the most when being asked about this situation during his, you know, his quest to be, to be released. I don't know who was going through. I don't know who looked the most stressed out between the two, if it was Kyle Shanahan or if it was John Lynch, but I could tell you this, they both looked fed up. They both looked fed up and After giving you that kind of money, you wanted to be paid like the Justin Jeffersons and the A.J. Browns of the world. That puts you in um, a different category now, as much as given, as much as required. So now you have to you have to show and prove now. You have to play like these receivers that you thought that you should be paid like. You have to, you, no matter what, there is no excuses at this point. Nobody wants to hear nothing. They don't want to hear nothing about the lines not blocking. They don't want to hear anything about the quarterbacks not getting you the ball. They don't want to hear anything. They don't want to hear anything about you missing camp. You're trying to get your legs under you. Nobody wants to hear that any longer. They want you to now perform. Now perform. And, and, and this is not performance. 
This is not performance. I mean, look at it. Look at these numbers, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, here are Brandon IU stats since signing the four year, $120 million contract extension with the San Francisco 49ers. In the 2024 season, IU's had two receptions for 48 yards and a 30 to 13 win over the Patriots. Then in week five, he had a breakout game, which was eight catches for 147 yards in that game. But I mean, they're expecting that from you every week now. That's an every week number right there. You should be getting 100 yards reception, 100 yards receiving every week now, according to the numbers. And now they're saying in week seven, they're expecting you to have a big game against, against the Kansas City Chiefs. So, I mean, you know, since the $120 million extension, you've had one good game. You've had one good game. And that's the, and that's the eight catches for 147 yards. I don't think that's going to fly with them. I don't think that's going to fly with them. I think they're going to expect more out of you. They don't expect you to get back to your to the ways that you were prior to you getting all this money. But I'm be honest with you. I think that he should have left the 49ers. After putting your boss and your and all your teammates through what they had to go through and had how how uh, Brock Purdy and all of them have to wait had to wait for you and Christian McCaffrey, I don't know if I'd want to go into the foxhole with somebody like that. And 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 I mean they all have to be questioning it. And I, I'm not saying that you're wrong for asking for your money. I'm not saying that at all. Get your money. But what I'm saying is, was it a good environment for you to stay in? as a wide receiver now with these fans, the faithful now going to require so much out of you. Do they love you? Do they love you as much as they did when you were coming out of Arizona state? Do they love you? Like, do they love that Brandon Ayuk anymore? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know this for, for certain. I seen some of the fans responses and I mean, some of them were not happy with with being in limbo for so long they just wanted to eventually just get rid of you so like i said i'm not so sure that it was a good idea just staying there i don't know if you could have you may have done better in another situation where you would have absolutely been the number one so it's hard for you to get the kind of numbers the fans are going to expect with the kind of talent that's on that team i mean they have so much talent i mean you got debo samuels over there you got debo samuels over there man yeah, Christian McCaffrey. So I mean, I mean, you got places where you can get. I mean, you have a great tight end. They have options on that team where they can pass the ball around a yard. So the numbers that you're going to be expected to get, it's going to be numbers where you're just the number one target. And I don't think that you can. I don't think that you can actually do that on that team. Actually, I think it's a detriment to that team to even have a focus like that. To even focus on 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 just jamming the ball down to one receiver just because he has the money, I just don't think that that's a good idea. You know, to be honest with you, I think that they should, uh, um, you know, do what they've always done, and that's you know mix it up. They got a good running attack. You know what I mean? And I don't think Brock Purdy's the type of quarterback that you can uh that you would want staring down one receiver. I mean, that's a good way to get you sent home. But at this point, you know, at the scoreboard keepers, we think that it would probably have been best suited for you to go to one of those teams that were courting you, that would love you. They would have loved on you just like you were loved when you first came out of Arizona State. But these fans now, they want, they want reimbursement in full. In full, they don't want no 50 yard, they don't want no two yard, two catches, 38 yard games. They don't want it. And they want you to get up to speed for missing camp. They want you to get up to speed for missing camp as fast as possible. So I don't think that you, you know, like I said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that you can actually do that in that environment now. I don't think that you can please those fans, the faithful. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if that's, I don't know if you can do that. If you, if you know, these people, like I said, they're going to want, they're going to want you at your best, but does, will that take away from Debo Samuels? 
And will that take away from the other receivers in that in that in that core? And will the team be able to function like that? But to be honest with you, according to what I'm saying, I believe that you're being punished right now because, you know, in the 23 receptions that you have on the season, it's only come on 40 targets. You know, so I believe that they're actually moving that ball around. And we all know who's calling the plays, that guy right there that's tapping you on your head. And I believe that he, you know, like I said, you can't cross your boss and not expect to take a loss. So I believe in some kind of way, you know, he's he's going to give you your punishment without you even knowing it. Or you may be feeling it. And like I said, there's nothing you can do about it now. You're under a contract now. You were under a contract before, but you're really under one now because they gave you exactly what you wanted. And if you don't give them their returns, you know, it's going to be a hard time out there with those faithful fans. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our 10 minutes. I told you it would only take 10 minutes for this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like for you to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And leave your comments also on how you feel about this situation. If you think Brandon Ayuk should have should have went somewhere else or should he have stayed with the 49 and faithful, um, it is our opinion that he should have went somewhere else because I don't think he's going to be able to give them exactly what they're looking for on a team like that. The numbers that they're going to respect and require from him, he would have to be the number one target on a team that's focusing on him and doesn't have as much talent around them in a receiving core. And that was with the teams that he that were looking to 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 for his services. And in in San Francisco, I think they have a well-rounded team. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our 10 minutes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next episode. Score. Peace.